Showrooms online and today we have travelled to Moulton in Cheshire and this is the development Honeyvale Gardens. The house type we've come to see is this house type. It's an Oxford, a beautiful five bedroomed detached house. Now the Oxford is a bit of a favourite of mine. I just think it's such a good looking house and it doesn't disappoint. You can see it's got that lovely bay on the front there with that tile hung elevation, the brick detail in there. What a fantastic looking house. Without further ado, let's go and take a look around. Hello Emma, Hello. welcome to the Oxford. Oxford yes. Now I thought it was about time we came back and did another Oxford because our Oxford at Haversham Gardens in Newport in Shropshire um, has now closed so our channel was lacking in Oxford so we've come all the way to Moulton in Cheshire and this is Honeyvale Gardens um, yes. by Bovis. Um, and this is a five bed. Now I remember being quite taken by the Oxford last time yeah. But I hope that we've come a long way up not to come and see this. So yeah. let's have a little look around. What right. we got then? And we are to plan, I think. Right then. So, ground floor, let's start in the study. Okay. Okay. Dimensions are two metres five by two metres one. See, it's an adequate study, isn't it? And I think yeah. as well it, it would fit a single bed in if necessary. If you wanted to. Um, but it, nice I think window. it works very well as yeah, a study or an, an extra lounge, little snug. So we've got this hallway here as well. Yeah, it's, beautiful. it's nice, it runs literally it's quite a long one. Yeah. Got some doors here then. All right. There we go. So you've got your downstairs cloakroom and utility. Yeah. I do love this. You I can't even, see, you know, you, you wouldn't even know it's a utility, would you? So it's got its own window. You've got big cupboards there, you've got your RCD box, bits and pieces. So space for the washer dryer, all in one there. So, so we've got a suspended, so uh, got a suspended toilet. Yes. Ideal standard sanitary yes, wear, we'll push flush. Very nice, isn't it? Nice shelf. Okay. This will be your understairs cupboard. Oh! Didn't expect to see no, that. No, I in didn't there. expect to see it downstairs. No. no. There you go then. Right then. Ooh. So this is, it reminds me, the Oxford always reminds me a little bit of the Canterbury. But it's just a five bedroom version of the Canterbury. And you can see why this big open plan space spot. here. Mm -hmm. Right, kitchen dining area. So you've got eight metres in length by three metres six in width for this room. It's all in one. So you actually have got two windows, also a nice set of French doors there. Very spacious kitchen. Right, let's take a look what we've got. So you've got a fridge freezer there, got your oven and grill, got the lovely um, reflective front to that, plenty of cupboards, cupboards underneath, lots of eyeline cupboards. What have we got here? Cupboards again. Bank of drawers there, lovely. You've got your gas hob with five burners with your big, your big burner in the middle. There's your extractor. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. There we go. Oh, there's your boiler tucked away. So more cupboard space. The sink. This will be your 
for you to dishwasher there. Lovely. It really is an ample kitchen, it is. isn't it? Nice uh, spot for a window here. I'm yeah. Might be and if you look how deep the window is, you can see how much um, from what, the brickwork. You can see you've got a beautiful view from yeah, this Yeah, this is, Moulton is right, right in the countryside. Yeah. I, I think we should just show the viewers that beautiful view from here. Well, I did say so we were, I, I did here. say we were complete and utterly in the, on the fringe of the countryside there, beautiful. weren't we? It really is. Yeah. Right, so we're into the dining area. I mean, this is such a flexible space though, I think. Yeah. I'm standing right back here and you can just see yeah. how big that room is. I mean we have seen Oxfords with corner yeah. sofas, TVs on the wall, very flexible. It's, it's an, yeah, space. it is an Whatever open plan, want. versatile space. Yeah. So you've got your, your patio doors here with the uh, the small windows just in case you want a bit of fresh air. I do like that, really good feature. Because sometimes you don't want to have all the doors open, do you? Beautiful double doors. Let me just have a pan back oh, around. Go on then, yes. Very light. Okay. Okay, right then, into this beautiful lounge. There we go. Let me have a look for. Uh... It's really nice, big size, isn't it? Sitting room. Five meters eight by three meters eight in width. So they've got a lovely big sofa. It's funny, isn't it? How, it's funny, isn't it? How show owns lounges don't have TVs in anymore. I know. But for most people, that is a consideration. So, where could you put your TV in here then? I On suppose because the traditionally you'd have some kind of fireplace there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Maybe. So, there isn't one. It's the focal point, isn't it? Is. it? And I think for a lot of people now, the TV is the focal point, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So maybe your TV goes there. Isn't it funny that a, right a, a, a TV has replaced a fireplace? Yeah. That's modern life, I think, isn't it? Beautiful bay there. It is. Place. Even though we've got all this furniture in it, it still feels spacious. We have an, another light-fitting situation. Beautiful. It's a very good size lounge, I think. into the lovely hallway and uh, we'll take a look upstairs okay so first floor so we're upstairs and you know i just want to mention how lovely this house smells it's beautiful isn't it right i think we'll start this way then save the rest till last so this is bedroom two on my right so this is at the front over the study okay so we've got a double bedroom so bedroom two is just over the three meters by just over three meters so it's pretty much a square so they've got a standalone wardrobe, that's very nice too, in here, but that would be a really good space for fitted wardrobes, yeah. wouldn't it, if you wanted it. Double bed, but plenty of room either side of the bed for additional furniture. Lovely. I notice there's a TV aerial point there, so you can yeah. put a TV on the wall if you wanted. So here we are, bathroom. Bathroom, yeah. So we've got the suspended sink and loo. Yeah, you've got a heated towel rail, a shower over the bath there. I do love the shape of the bath actually with the taps on the side. I think it's such a nice feature. And of course it's got a window as well. And as it says there, it says that things that things are included. You'd be surprised with bonus about how much is actually included in, in mm. their properties, really. They furnish them with exactly what you're going to get with, in the property. So this is bedroom four. We're at the rear. Uh, again, just over the three metres by two metres nine. Nice. Look at that. Isn't the wall fabulous? Again, we're rugby. So, I was just taking a look at the uh, the information about this development yeah. then, Steve. Yeah, so what do we know? Moulton is a village, isn't it? It's and I know it's between, it's not about, I think a few miles from Northwich, yeah, isn't it? about four miles from Northwich. And you've got yeah. Middlewich, not too far away either. And three miles from Winsford. Yeah. Which is very, very popular. And this is, you know, these, yeah. these are really nice, elegant little towns they are. Mm. I mean, it's telling me that Moulton's got its own village shop. Um, 
and of course you've got Winsford and, and Northwich and Middlewich all very close by which are bigger and yeah. much bigger shopping centres uh, with, um, with lots of local amenities so all very well situated right then so in the middle we've got bedroom five is it done as a nursery? Yeah, Obviously, we don't do that. Look at the view lovely. out of that. Now we were talking about the countryside. Yeah. Now take a look out there. Look at that lovely oak tree. You can see that is a picturesque view. Just take a look. Lovely. You've got a horse in the field chomping away at the grass. You have a little bit of a pond over there, which the ducks are flying in and out of. And all at the back is this little lane as well. Look. Just to mention, the dimensions in here are just over the three meters by two meters. 18. I mean it's also telling me that uh, Moulton's got its own primary school. Come on and give me some more Moulton facts. Yeah. And there's a high school and an academy school obviously for your older children very close by. And also Moulton Brown was first uh, made here. Was it really? Uh, I can't I'm only joking no. I can't I can't citation that. Right <laughs> so next then we've got bedroom three. Now I have not seen a rocking horse in a, in a bedroom for no. a long time. That's a shire horse isn't it? Yeah. Right so dimensions for bedroom three are three meters six by two meters seven. You know what is pretty close to here? Cheshire Oaks. Cheshire Oaks. Cheshire Oaks which is a what would you call it? An outlet shopping Designer village. Designer outlet yeah. shopping village, yeah. Very, very good if you like shopping. It has, and then you've got Warrington, which has got the big IKEA. Yes. So I'm reversing into the master bedroom now. And straight away to the left here, I have the ensuite bathroom to the master bedroom. Um, and you can see we've got the ideal standard um, suspended sink and toilet there got the bovis posh flush and also a nice double sized shower cubicle right dimensions for bedroom one are three meters eight by three meters six so they've got fitted wardrobes then in this space here which is nice it kind of gives you a dressing space as you come out of the ensuite lovely so we've got a dressing table area oh it's beautifully furnished really lovely and again that bay which goes right across the front, which is it's lovely, isn't yeah. it? it? Let's the light in. You can see as well that you've got the uh, you can see the Oxford over just across the street there. Mm -hmm. You have to squeeze it doing a bit of work getting the um, the roads yes. ready in that, but it is really nice. I would say this is a king size bed as well, but as you can see, they've got two big pieces of furniture either side of the bed, and then there's more room there. Yeah. So you could fit a super king it size is in if you wanted a large it's room, a substantial isn't it? Look bedroom. at that bay. Let's just look at that bay. There are some beautiful house types on this yeah. development. So I can really see, so nice. as I was saying earlier, we've got a Sheringham there just on that corner. A little Sheringham, a three bed. Mm -hmm. Over there you've got the five bedroom Oxford. Next to that is the um, the Urundel. Yep. And over there is the Montpellier. Oh, so some great, a great development. Um, and actually what's nice about this development is you come through another little development to get you a really small small sort of ninth early 80s 90s developments very quiet mm. so you want no no speeding cars i was just reading a couple more facts actually yeah sure about, fire away uh, about the development you've got northwich railway station which is about four miles away and it runs to chester and manchester uh, and also you've got manchester airport which is 20 miles away uh, mm. and john lennon airport which is 25 miles wow. away so extremely well situated well, we've cracked it, haven't we? We certainly have, yes. That's the Oxford done and dusted. Mm. What a nice house. Beautiful. It is. It is like... And in fact, we've done five bedrooms, but it doesn't feel like yeah. it at all. It's, it, it feels like, yeah. to me, the Canterbury's big brother. Yeah. Yeah. It is a great, a great house, um, and it looks beautiful. Yeah. And all these details and information that I've got here will be in the description box down below, so don't forget to take a look down there. Uh, and give us a thumbs up if you found this uh, video useful. And also we've got a great Bovis playlist for you to have a look at. And don't forget, on, get, get on Facebook and leave us a review. Tell us why you watch Show Owns Online. Yeah. Uh, but we will catch you on our next video. So thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>